However, the passing of the actor on September 29, 2010, left a void for many fans. His career, which spanned over six decades, brought joy and laughter to audiences worldwide. Yet, recent claims made by Kim Novak have stirred up controversy, raising questions about the actor's personal life and how it may affect the way he is remembered. As discussions continue, we must reflect on both his celebrated roles and the accusations that have surfaced. Born as Bernard Schwartz on June 3, 1925, in the Bronx, Tony Curtis came from a humble background. He belonged to a working-class Jewish family of Hungarian immigrants who had settled in America during the early 20th century. Growing up, the future actor experienced firsthand the harsh realities of the Great Depression. Financial struggles were commonplace in his household, shaping his perspective on life from an early age. Amidst these challenging circumstances, one constant remained, his mother's passion for cinema. Introduced to movies at a young age, Tony Curtis found solace and inspiration in the magical worlds depicted on screen. This exposure ignited his interest in storytelling, particularly through acting and drawing. A significant event in his childhood was contracting rheumatic fever, which confined him to bed rest for nearly a year. During this period, he immersed himself further into films while also developing skills in illustration. These activities provided comfort and diversion amidst physical limitations, fueling his creative inclinations. By the time he recovered, his affection for performing arts had grown even stronger. Little did anyone know then that this little boy would become one of Hollywood's most celebrated actors. In 1942, Tony Curtis chose to enlist in the Navy during World War II demonstrating his commitment to service even amidst personal aspirations. Assigned to the USS Proteus, he worked diligently as a signalman, contributing significantly to the war effort. Despite his naval duties, the actor's passion for performance persisted. Organizing and starring in shows tailored for his comrades, he brought moments of joy and levity to his fellow servicemen during their challenging circumstances. This episode in the life of Tony Curtis serves as a testament to his dedication and love for acting which later propelled him to stardom in Hollywood. Indeed, even when faced with adversity, the allure of the stage never wavered for this determined artist. After serving in the U.S. Navy during World War II, Tony Curtis decided to pursue a career in acting. He enrolled at the dramatic workshop of the New School in New York and studied under the guidance of Stella Adler. Inspired by his favorite novel, Anthony Adverse, he adopted the stage name Tony Curtis. Curtis made his film debut in 1949 in Criss Cross playing a small role. However, it was his charm and charisma that caught the attention of studio executives. In 1950, he signed a contract with Universal Pictures, which marked the beginning of his rise to fame in Hollywood. Over the next few years, he appeared in various films, gradually making a name for himself as a talented actor. One of Curtis's early breakthrough roles came in the 1953 film Houdinia, where he played the famous magician Harry Houdinia. His performance received critical acclaim and helped establish him as a leading man in Hollywood. In 1957, he starred alongside Burt Lancaster in Sweet Smell of Success, a classic film noir that further solidified his reputation as a versatile actor. However, it was Curtis's performance in Some Like It Hot that truly catapulted him to stardom. Playing one of two musicians who disguise themselves as women to escape gangsters, Curtis delivered a hilarious and memorable performance that earned him widespread recognition. Following this success, he continued to appear in numerous films throughout the 1960s, including Spartacus, another classic film in which he gave a powerful performance. Throughout his career, Tony Curtis proved himself to be a highly skilled and adaptable actor, capable of excelling in a wide range of roles. From dramatic performances to comedic turns, he left an indelible mark on the film industry and remains a beloved figure among movie fans today. In the late 1950s, the actor Tony Curtis decided to take charge of his career and formed his own production company. This move allowed him greater creative control over his projects and solidified his status as a Hollywood heavyweight. Around the same time, he began appearing in a variety of films that showed off his versatility as an actor. As the 1960s came to a close, Curtis made the leap into television with the hit sitcom The Persuaders. Paired with fellow screen icon Roger Moore, the two played wealthy troubleshooters who traveled the globe solving problems and having adventures. The show ran for just one season, but it remains a beloved classic among fans of vintage TV. Curtis's personal life was marked by both triumph and struggle. Over the course of his life, he was married six times, tying the knot with several high-profile women. 
Two of his most notable marriages were to actresses Janet Leigh and Christine Kaufman. With Lee, he had two daughters, actresses Jamie Lee Curtis and Kelly Curtis. His marriage to Kaufman produced two more children. Despite his success, Curtis faced significant challenges throughout his life. He struggled with drug addiction and financial difficulties, often finding himself in legal trouble as a result lieutenant. However, he never let these setbacks keep him down for long. Throughout his career, he remained committed to his craft and continued working in both leading roles and character parts. Even after retiring from the spotlight, Curtis's impact could still be felt in the entertainment industry. Both of his daughters went on to have successful acting careers of their own, carrying on his legacy in their own unique ways. And though he may no longer be with us, the films and shows he left behind continue to captivate audiences around the world. Beyond his successful career as an actor, Tony Curtis had a passion for painting and used his platform to support AIDS awareness. As a painter, he created vivid artworks that reflected his unique perspective and creativity. His love for art allowed him to explore different styles and techniques, resulting in captivating pieces that were admired by many. Curtis was also deeply committed to raising awareness about AIDS and its impact on communities around the world. He understood the power of his celebrity status and used it to make a difference. Through fundraising events and public appearances, he helped bring attention to this critical issue and encouraged others to get involved. Despite facing personal challenges, including addiction and health issues, Curtis remained dedicated to his artistic endeavors and philanthropic efforts. His work in both areas left a lasting mark on those who knew him and continue to inspire people today. Whether through his films, paintings, or advocacy work, Curtis will always be remembered for his contributions and commitment to making the world a better place. In 1958, a disturbing event involving actor Tony Curtis and his co-star Kim Novak came to light. At a party, Novak claimed that she had been potentially drugged by Curtis, which resulted in her waking up in a confused state and without clothing. This shocking revelation raises questions about Curtis's past conduct and tarnishes his reputation. However, it is crucial to note that when discussing the Hash Me Too movement, Novak clarified that Curtis was not one of the individuals who mistreated her during those instances. Despite this distressing episode, the career of the actor remained significant, having left an indelible mark on Hollywood through his work in films like Some Like It Hot and television shows such as The Defenders. As we reflect on his contributions, it becomes clear that even beloved figures can have complex stories, leaving us to grapple with both their achievements and personal actions. Did these events shape the way we view his body of work today? That is a decision each person must make individually. In his candid memoir, actor Tony Curtis made a shocking revelation about an alleged affair with none other than the legendary Marilyn Monroe. This affair was said to have taken place while they were working together on the classic film Some Like It Hot. According to Curtis, their relationship went beyond just being co-stars and evolved into something more intimate. Their romantic entanglement reportedly resulted in a pregnancy, which added even more drama to their already complicated situation. However, fate had other plans as Monroe suffered a miscarriage. The loss was undoubtedly devastating for both of them, but it also marked the end of their secret romance. Despite the challenges and heartbreak, the pair continued to work professionally, maintaining a facade of normalcy throughout the production of the movie. Their chemistry on screen remained sizzling hot, leaving audiences captivated by their performances. Little did viewers know that behind the scenes, a real-life love story was unfolding before their eyes. Curtis's confession provides us with a unique glimpse into Hollywood's glamorous yet tumultuous past. It serves as a reminder that despite appearances, celebrities are human beings too, prone to making mistakes and experiencing deep emotions like everyone else. This revealing tale continues to fascinate fans of old Hollywood, offering a rare insight into the lives of two iconic figures whose legacies continue to resonate today. Born Bernard Schwartz in 1925, actor Tony Curtis rose to fame during Hollywood's golden age. With striking good looks and undeniable charm, he captured audiences' hearts in films like Sweet Smell of Success and Some Like It Hot. In a career spanning over six decades, Curtis proved himself a versatile talent, both on and off screen. Growing up in the Bronx, New York, Curtis had a tough childhood. He was born into poverty and experienced anti-Semitism firsthand. But these challenges only fueled his determination to succeed. After serving in the U.S. Navy during World War II, 
Curtis pursued acting, studying at the dramatic workshop of the new school in New York City alongside fellow aspiring actors Rod Steiger and Marlon Brando. Curtis's breakout role came in 1957 when he starred opposite Burt Lancaster in Sweet Smell of Success. His portrayal of Sidney Falco, a sleazy press agent, showcased his range and earned him critical acclaim. Just one year later, Curtis cemented his place in cinema history with his performance in Billy Wilder's classic comedy, Some Like It Hot. As Joe Josephine, a struggling musician who disguises herself as a woman to escape gangsters, Curtis demonstrated his comedic prowess and delivered one of the most memorable performances of his career. Throughout his life, Curtis remained dedicated to his craft, appearing in countless films and television shows. He even tried his hand at producing and directing, forming his own production company and releasing several successful projects. Offscreen, Curtis was known for his philanthropy, supporting various charitable organizations throughout his lifetime. Despite facing personal struggles, including drug addiction and multiple marriages, Curtis never lost sight of his passion for acting. Even in his twilight years, he continued to work, earning accolades for his roles in TV movies and miniseries. When asked about his legacy, Curtis once said, I want people to remember me as a guy who worked hard, loved his family, and enjoyed being alive. And indeed, that is how he will always be remembered as a talented actor who brought joy to millions through his unforgettable performances. Born Bernard Schwartz on June 3, 1925, in the Bronx, New York, Tony Curtis was the son of Hungarian Jewish immigrants Emanuel Schwartz and Helen Klein. His father worked as a tailor, while his mother was a housewife. With three brothers, Curtis had a humble upbringing in poverty. At a young age, he found solace in movies, often cutting classes to watch double features. This early exposure to cinema would later shape his dreams of becoming an actor. Curtis's parents divorced when he was just eight years old, leading him to spend time in various foster homes and orphanages throughout his childhood. Despite these challenges, he remained determined to pursue acting. After serving during World War II, Curtis enrolled in drama school on the GI Bill, where he met fellow aspiring actors like Jack Palance and Rod Steiger. He also began studying under influential acting coach Silvana Mangano, whose guidance proved instrumental in shaping his career. During this period, Curtis landed small roles in several films before catching the eye of powerful Hollywood agent Joyce Selznick, cousin of famed producer David O. Selznick. Impressed by his raw talent and good looks, Selznick helped launch Curtis's career, securing him prominent parts in high-profile productions alongside big stars like Burt Lancaster and Kirk Douglas. Through hard work, and dedication, Curtis transformed himself into one of Hollywood's most beloved leading men, earning both critical acclaim and commercial success along the way. Every great journey begins with a single step, and for Tony Curtis, that step was his decision to enroll in acting classes. Born Bernard Schwartz on June 3, 1925, in the Bronx, New York, Curtis had always been drawn to the glamour and excitement of Hollywood. As a child, he would often escape the harsh realities of life by immersing himself in movies, losing himself in the stories, and dreaming of one day becoming a part of that magical world. But it wasn't until after World War II, during which Curtis served as a radio operator in the United States Navy, that he finally decided to take action towards making his dreams a reality. In 1948, he enrolled in drama classes at the New School for Social Research in Manhattan, where he quickly discovered a natural talent for acting. He loved the way it made him feel alive, free, and full of potential. And so, he dedicated himself wholeheartedly to honing his craft. Curtis's hard work soon paid off. Just two years later, in 1950, he landed his first film role in City Across the River. From there, he went on to become one of Hollywood's biggest stars, known for his good looks, charm, and undeniable charisma. Throughout his storied career, he appeared in over 100 films alongside some of the industry's most legendary actors, including Marilyn Monroe, Jack Lemmon, and Kirk Douglas. Despite all his success, however, Curtis never forgot those early days spent discovering his love for acting. Even as he became a household name, he continued to push himself creatively, exploring new genres, and taking risks that challenged both himself and audiences alike. For Curtis, acting was more than just a job or a means to fame and fortune. It was a true passion, a lifelong pursuit that brought joy, purpose, and fulfillment to his life. Initially, Tony Curtis faced significant financial struggles. Growing up in a poor neighborhood in New York, he often worried about where his next meal would come from. Despite these hardships, he found creative ways to support himself, 
including joining the Navy during World War II. This experience taught him discipline and resilience. After the war, he pursued acting, but the industry was skeptical of him. Many doubted his talent and looked past his potential because of his humble beginnings and peculiar name. Nevertheless, he didn't let the doubts deter him. Instead, Curtis took acting classes and performed in small roles, gradually building his skills and confidence. His big break came with the film The Sweet Smell of Success, which showcased his talent. By embracing every opportunity, he turned skepticism into motivation, proving that determination and hard work could lead to success. One breakthrough moment for Tony Curtis came in 1957 with his role in the film Sweet Smell of Success. Initially, he faced challenges getting the part due to his pretty boy image, but after much persistence, he managed to land the role alongside Burt Lancaster. Critics took notice of Curtis's powerful performance, praising him for shedding his lighthearted persona and diving into a more serious character. This marked a pivotal point in his career, showing his versatility as an actor. A few years later, in 1958, another significant opportunity emerged when Curtis starred in The Defiant Ones alongside Sidney Poitier. Both actors played convicts who were shackled together while trying to escape from prison. Their compelling chemistry led to outstanding reviews, earning them both Academy Award nominations, Curtis for Best Actor and Poitier for Best Actor in a Leading Role. Although neither won, the film elevated Curtis's status as a reputable dramatic actor. Critically recognized projects like Some Like It Hot, where Curtis humorously impersonates Cary Grant, further solidified his place among Hollywood greats. Peers and industry professionals alike admired Curtis's ability to adapt effortlessly between comedies and dramas. Over time, he became known for taking risks by challenging himself with diverse roles, ultimately leaving behind an impressive body of work cherished by many. Tony Curtis was known for his ability to take on diverse roles throughout his acting career. His artistic vision was shaped by his early life experiences, including growing up during the Great Depression and serving in the U.S. Navy during World War II. These formative years gave him a deep appreciation for hard work and perseverance, which he brought to each character he played. Curtis's approach to acting was rooted in thorough preparation. He would immerse himself in researching the role, studying the background and motivations of his characters. This meticulous attention to detail allowed him to bring depth and authenticity to every performance. One notable aspect of Curtis's style was his versatility. Whether playing a charming leading man or a complex anti-hero, he approached each role with equal dedication and commitment. He once said, I don't play parts, I find pieces of myself. This mindset enabled him to connect personally with each character, making them relatable and memorable for audiences. Themes of resilience and adaptability often appeared in Curtis's work, reflecting his own journey from humble beginnings to Hollywood stardom. In films like Some Like It Hot and The Defiant Ones, he portrayed characters who overcame adversity through determination and wit. Throughout his career, Tony Curtis left an indelible mark on cinema history, inspiring future generations of actors with his unique blend of talent, discipline, and creativity. To this day, his legacy continues to resonate, reminding us all of the power of artistry and self-expression. Tony Curtis was a Hollywood icon who greatly impacted the film industry through his diverse acting roles and charm. His career spanned over five decades, starting in the late 1940s. Curtis had the ability to play various types of characters, which set him apart from many actors of his time. He could easily switch between dramatic and comedic parts, leaving audiences entertained and engaged. For instance, he starred in serious films like Spartacus, but also delivered memorable comic performances in movies such as Some Like It Hot. His influence can be seen in modern cinema, where versatility and range are highly valued among leading men. Industry experts and fellow actors have praised Curtis for his contributions. Actor Henry Winkler once said, he brought a sense of reality to every role he made us all feel we could act. Moreover, Curtis played a significant part in breaking down barriers during the golden age of Hollywood. As one of the first notable stars to successfully transition from contract player to independent actor, he paved the way for future generations of performers seeking greater creative control and ownership of their careers. In terms of technique, Curtis's unique delivery of dialogue became his trademark style. With a distinctive voice and crisp enunciation, he captivated viewers and elevated the quality of his scenes. This approach has since been adopted by numerous actors looking to stand out on screen. Finally, Curtis's personal life also left an indelible mark on Hollywood. 
After marrying famous actress Janet Lee, their union created quite the buzz, bringing even more attention to both individuals and contributing to the glamour associated with old Hollywood. Their daughter, Jamie Lee Curtis, followed in her parents' footsteps and became a successful actress herself, further solidifying the Curtis family legacy within the entertainment business. Transitioning away from his acting career, Tony Curtis led a private life centered around family and personal interests. He was a father of six children, including actress Jamie Lee Curtis, whom he shared with his first wife, Janet Lee. Curtis valued his role as a parent and often spoke about the joy and pride he derived from his children's accomplishments. Curtis had diverse hobbies and passions beyond acting. Among them were painting and sculpture, which allowed him to express himself creatively through visual arts. His artwork was exhibited in galleries across the United States, reflecting his dedication to artistic pursuits outside of Hollywood. Moreover, Tony Curtis was known for his philanthropy and involvement in various charitable organizations. One notable cause close to his heart was raising awareness and funds for diabetes research. Diagnosed with type 1 diabetes early in life, Curtis actively supported the American Diabetes Association, contributing significantly to its mission. Additionally, he lent his support to other foundations promoting education, health, and social welfare initiatives. Throughout his lifetime, both on screen and off, Tony Curtis demonstrated a commitment to making a difference by sharing his talents and resources generously. Whether advocating for medical advancement or fostering creativity in the arts, Curtis remained devoted to enriching lives and leaving lasting legacies in multiple domains. Let's delve into the career of Tony Curtis, a legendary actor who left an undeniable impact on the film industry. With over 100 films under his belt, he showcased his versatility by playing various roles, from romantic leads to dramatic characters. His groundbreaking performance in Spartacus resonates even today, demonstrating his immense talent and dedication. Now, reflecting on his illustrious journey, what advice would Tony Curtis offer to those eager to follow in his footsteps? First and foremost, remain dedicated to honing your craft. Continuously study and practice acting to deepen your understanding of human emotions and relationships. Embrace every opportunity to learn, whether it's through formal education or hands-on experiences. Secondly, never shy away from taking risks and challenging yourself. By stepping out of your comfort zone, you can discover new aspects of your abilities and expand your range as an artist. Remember, embracing diverse roles contributes to a more engaging and dynamic career. Last but not least, maintain humility and stay true to yourself throughout your journey. While success may bring fame and recognition, always remember where you came from and keep your values intact. This authenticity will shine through in your performances and help create lasting connections with audiences. As you embark on your own creative path, let these insights guide you toward realizing your full potential and making meaningful contributions to the ever-evolving landscape of storytelling. Born Bernard Schwartz in the Bronx, New York, in 1925, Tony Curtis embarked on a fascinating journey that would lead him to become one of Hollywood's most beloved actors. His initial dream was to study art, but fate had other plans when he joined the Navy during World War II. Upon his return, he found himself drawn to acting, inspired by the likes of Cary Grant and Spencer Tracy. Curtis began his career on stage before making his way to Hollywood. In the late 1940s, after changing his name to Tony Curtis, he signed a contract with Universal Pictures. Despite facing early struggles due to typecasting, Curtis remained determined and continued honing his craft. He eventually gained recognition for his roles in films like The Sweet Smell of Success, showcasing both his charm and versatility. Throughout the next few decades, Tony Curtis left an indelible mark on cinema with iconic performances in movies such as Some Like It Hot alongside Marilyn Monroe, solidifying his status as a leading man. With over 100 film credits spanning various genres, from comedies to dramas and even westerns, Curtis proved time and again that he could adapt to any role effortlessly. Off-screen, Tony Curtis never lost sight of his original artistic aspirations. As a painter, sculptor, and photographer, he continually explored different forms of creative expression throughout his life. These passions reveal yet another facet of Curtis's remarkable range and dedication to the arts. Ultimately, Tony Curtis's story serves as a testament to the transformative power of creativity and persistence. From humble beginnings to international stardom, his unwavering determination allowed him to break free from limitations and shape a legacy that continues to resonate today. 
Indeed, we can all learn something valuable from Curtis's lifelong pursuit of excellence and his ability to navigate new paths fearlessly, leaving behind a vibrant tapestry woven with passion, talent, and sheer grit. Let's take a moment to remember the late Tony Curtis, an actor who graced both stage and screen with his undeniable talent. With a career spanning over six decades, he truly left his mark on the entertainment industry. Curtis was born Bernard Schwartz on June 3, 1925, in the Bronx, New York. His journey into acting began after serving in the U.S. Navy during World War II. He changed his name and started working as a struggling actor before catching his big break in the early 1950s. Throughout his illustrious career, Tony Curtis starred in numerous films, including some like It Hot, The Defiant Ones, and Spartacus. In each role, he demonstrated his incredible range, captivating audiences with his charismatic performances. Whether playing serious or comedic parts, he never failed to impress. His work extended beyond film, as he also made appearances on various television shows, and even tried his hand at producing and directing. Moreover, Curtis dabbled in visual arts later in life, showcasing yet another facet of his creativity. Now it's your turn. Share your favorite memories of Tony Curtis and what his work means to you. While you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fantastic stories about influential figures and entertainers.